What up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. So of course, this is a re-upload, the best video I've ever produced, ever created on YouTube. The original was posted back in July, some things were copyrighted, the USL didn't like it, so I had to redo it, re-edit it, and now this is the remastered version of the original video that was posted about three months ago. I'm a big fan of the USL and the structure of it, how it's operated, how it's run for the most part, but not so much the media department. I think they're a bunch of children. I'll leave it at that. If you guys want me to evolve in the next video I'm producing and creating series-wise on YouTube, send me a DM or email. I'll try to get you guys involved in that series as fast as possible. But uh, yeah, hope you like it. Hope you enjoy it. And of course, keep grinding. Dudes and dudettes, welcome back to the channel guys and welcome back to the vlog. So today's video is super, super special. It took a long time to create, a long time to produce, over a year in the making, but I'm super proud of how it turned out. Massive thank you to all the clubs and players that are part of this video in any shape or form. You guys are amazing. This was a massive endeavor, massive project, but I'm super proud of how it turned out. So thank you guys again so much for all your hard work and uh, making this dream a goal of mine a reality. But uh, over the past year, I've partnered with over 15 professional clubs, 12 in the USL Championship, and three in the USL One to create arguably the best soccer video ever produced here in the States. It's fascinating to see how these guys live on a day in, day out basis. There's really nothing that's different between me, you, and them. All they've done is master the art of consistency and extremely disciplined throughout their day. This was an absolute massive marketing campaign to make uh, this goal of having this many clubs in one video even possible. Lots of emails, lots of phone calls, and lots of just uh, litigation to uh, confirm all these clubs and players in this video. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you like it. If you have any comments or questions about the players in this video, all their handles and, uh, and usernames are down below in the description. But uh, next year, I'm doing a video that's even bigger than this one. It's uh, for pro players as well. So if you're a pro player here in the States or abroad, send me a DM or email if you want to be part of that video in 2022. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you like it. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Deuces. great day to be alive. This is Alex Canali with the Birmingham Legion and I'm excited to take you through a day in the life down here in Birmingham. Let's get it. Another beautiful morning here in Birmingham, Alabama. Doesn't get much better than this living out here in the woods in the wilderness. I'll tell you what, this little man loves it. <laughs> Things have just been a little bit different through this COVID-19 era. We wake up every morning, we put on our practice gear, go straight to the field, ready to go. It's the little things that are new. We bring our cleats to and from training every day, but we're back playing the game, and that's all that matters. Go boy, go boy, let's go. Recovery day today. Beautiful look at the Met training ground. Fun fact Michael Jordan played AAA baseball here with the Birmingham Barons, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think so. About to go get some Norma Tech in before a light recovery jog. Mid season grind, baby. Good morning, guys. What's going on? Yoga, baby. And that's how you do a quick yoga session for recovery.
training is done. Now we're gonna head out, go to the grocery store, get a few things, stay tuned. What's up guys? Wanted to give you a quick intro. My name is Macklin Robinson. I am a goalkeeper for the Tampa Bay Rowdies in the USL Championship. I'm 25 years old. I went to DePaul University in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, I graduated when I was 20, so this will be my fifth professional season. And I'm just gonna take you through a day in the life of. Hopefully you can get a little snippet and see what it takes to be a professional soccer player in America today. Thanks guys. My guy is pretty like a girl. And he got my stories to tell. I see both sides like Chanel. See on both sides like Chanel. Swimming like Chanel. He didn't like I'm underworld. I have my tattoos in Shibuya. Police think I'm up the underworld. Well, I've treated a nigga like he's 12. Are you looking up to me and talking down? Can't you see I am the big man? God level, I am the I am. I'm coming with the drone cam and the pick like Hey guys, it's about 2.15. Have a private training session at 3.30. Gotta be there at 3.15, so we are going to draw up the lesson plan for today. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, what's hey, up? Good morning, dude. Morning, how's it guys? going, man? How's it going? So, what's up, buddy? What's up, how's man? It how's it going? How's it going? You guys are goofballs. Kobe. That was good. I like that. Okay, we're saying hi again for us. Hey, what's up, what's bro? Up, what's up? What's up? How's it going? We're saying hi for the first time. Family, this is the third hey, time, hi. buddy. How's it going? <laughs> I was like, what, how are you doing? What are you doing? I wore this into a Walgreens yesterday and I got the weirdest looks. Yeah, I just pretended like it wasn't on. The lady at the counter was just asking me about my tattoos. She completely ignored the fact that I was wearing this on my chest and I look like a Cyclops. So quick summary, uh, my day is nothing special, you know, I like to keep it pretty consistent. Although our schedule is pretty inconsistent with soccer, uh, I spend most of my day with my fiance Sydney. She has her own business, so I work pretty closely with her on that, as well as just hanging out. If I'm not with her, I'm either at the stadium training, working out, or I'm away on a trip for a game. So yeah, hopefully you guys had a great time, you know, getting an insight into my life. And I really appreciate it and all the support. Thanks, guys. Let's go. We see that hype outside. Right from the house. Uh. Took it straight from outside. Straight to the couch. We put the mic outside.
What's up guys? This is Evan Newton, goalkeeper with Indy 11. Just waking up in the morning, but this is my day in the life. Come follow along, let's go. A little quick tour of the apartment. Just got the dining room. Here's the kitchen. Got all the necessary th essentials. The fridge got a lot of baby food in there. Celery juice, we'll get to the celery in a little bit. Baby's playing, watching some Paw Patrol. Got the living room here. Baby's room. And then my, my daughter's room here. Very pink. Our bed, master bedroom, just a simple bathroom, closet, and then we just got the master bedroom here. My daughter draws us pictures. This is my wife's side, and then I'm over here, you see. It's cute. So we're just gonna get some celery juice here. Morning routine. Like I said, we'll go in here, we'll grab one of these. Come over here. And typically, well, every morning I do one full batch. I like to do 16 ounces, which is about one batch per morning. Got our celery juice, got our oatmeal, and now we're heading to training. Today's the first day back from quarantine, so first day of full training. Get back to as much as real life that we're used to as we can, but we'll head to training and hopefully get some uh, footage from there. Stay tuned. We're here at training, beautiful fields here. We're gonna head in and get our temperature taken. Beautiful facility here. Welcome, home of Indy 11. Usually we head in these front doors, but because of quarantine, we gotta head in the training room. Hello, Mish. All good. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Coach's meeting room in there. Kev, what's up, bro? Good to see you. Welcome see you. back. So we have just two locker rooms here, kind of half and half. Haven't been here in a while because we've been having to just go out of our car for quarantine. There it is. We'll see you all in the field in a bit. Going on there, the vlog, huh? Juanito, what's up, brother? How's that? Now we're out in the field. Usually I do this prehab stuff in the gym, but because of the COVID stuff, I just do it here out in the field now. But uh, I have a couple breathing exercises just to help get my body ready. I'll film a couple of those and uh, then we'll put this on my head and get a little bit of training with the GoPro on the head. The fields are beautiful, so it should be fun. I remember when. I remember, I remember when I lost my mind There was something so pleasant about that place yeah. Your emotions have an echo in so Cut. much space Top one. And when you're out there, without care, yeah I was out of touch But it wasn't because I didn't know enough Wow I just knew too Cut. much Oh, you Does that make me crazy? Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Does that make yeah. me crazy? I think, I think one here. Oh, God. Does that make me crazy? <laughs> A little cool down, some volleys. See the hands. Right. Switch sides. Three. Four. One more. That's the one. <laughs> All right, guys. Good session there. Uh, hopefully, you got to see a little bit of it. Uh, we don't have. We usually have lunch uh, every day, obviously, but not today because first day back. We're gonna start getting stuff start next week, like takeaway stuff. So, you know, the rule is right now you can't have anything where everybody can touch it. So, gonna go pick up some lunch for me and the wife. Head home. Uh, and then uh, relax, get ready for uh, lifting at, at IFAST. So see you in a little bit uh, for the lift and uh, tune in. Oh, we're rolling. rolling. We're rolling. Look at that. Thanks, bro. Jimmy, you want to do some reaction? So I'm just clicking which one I see, right? Yeah, you're going to look at it wherever the C is, swipe it that way. All right, guys, we're out here. Uh, just gonna get a little private session in. Just a good hour or so. I got a group of three today. Uh, usually we got one more, but I think uh, she's at another training session. So we're we'll just get a little video of uh, getting the work in. Got my Titan on, Titan gloves. Make sure you check them out as well. But uh, yeah, we'll get some work in and I uh, hope you guys enjoy uh, some of the stuff we're doing. Yeah. Pause. You're like landing with this one like this and you're trying to hold it like that. Get this one out, go again. That should be an easy save for you. You're there, it's just going under your hand because how am I supposed to catch something like this? There it is, up. Up. Come on. Great save. Uh, 
uh, now that I'm all freshened up, what's up? My name's Aiden Stanley. You're here in Portland, Oregon, and uh, this is a day in life of a T2 soccer player. Are you drunk or not? Now to judge what I'm doing. For morning routines, I like to keep breakfast pretty simple. So I usually start my day with some oatmeal, add some almonds, cranberries, some fruit, and then some brown sugar. Pretty simple, but it'll give you energy for training and keep you full throughout the day. Bon appetit. I made no promises. I can do golden rings, but I give you everything. That's my everyday trip to the facility. It's about 10 minutes, not too bad. And now it's time to train. I'll see you guys soon. Is it loud or no? Cause my body is calling for you, calling for you. I need someone to do the things that I do. And just like that, done with training for the day and uh, I'm ready for the rest of it. Uh, so let's get going. And just like that, home sweet home. So for today's lunch, we're just gonna have some tacos. I like to eat a lot of protein after practice just for recovery purposes, whether we have a lift or it's a hard training day. I also like to have a protein shake after every training day. And that concludes a day in the life of a T2 soccer player. More specifically, me. Obviously, it varies person to person and day to day. But uh, yeah. That's what a normal day kind of looks like for me. It obviously changes day to day, but it's a good routine. I hope this video gives you guys some insight on the different routines and preparations a person like myself uh, does throughout the day. I want to thank Spencer for the opportunities given to me, allowing me to make this video, and I want to thank the viewers for actually coming with me on the day in the life of myself. Thank you so much, and follow me on Instagram uh, at astan underscore 13. Thanks. Okay, so it's about 8 a.m. here, about one hour before training. So I usually take this time to uh, go in the weight room and uh, I get on the bike, quick warm up, and then I do my prevention work to obviously prevent injuries. So this is the weight room right here. We've got the bikes with my teammate Cameron, Golden Boot 2018. So pretty cool place. All right, on our way to training now. So I will show you the locker room. So right here we have the boot room. We have a little game room, it's supposed to be a, the warm-up room, but we put the ping-pong table in it. Hey, Paolo. Yeah, look. Hey Blue, we have two score, come on! Four, five, six, right now, right now, seven, yeah! Yes. Yeah. Move it to the wall, you know. Okay, so it's about 12 o'clock. Uh, just got done with training and then I had a little lift session after training. So the lift session was based on uh, lower body. Usually I do lower body on earlier on the week, so Monday, Tuesday. Uh, usually the days I do it, so I it's still like three, four days before a game, so I still have time to recover. 
and uh, now before I go home I will just uh, show you a little clip of uh, the stadium we got this year so this stadium is brand new can hold about 12 14 thousand people so just got finished uh, in April so it's amazing it's a beautiful field beautiful facility it's lunchtime. Fortunately, uh, we cannot eat at the facility because of the COVID. We're trying to social distance as much as we can. So what happened is um, they give us like two go two go boxes with the food they, they cook. So today I went with the chicken ferrita bowl. So right here, you have got my chicken as protein. I've got my uh, carbs with the rice and I've got my veggies and my greens all around. So it's about one o'clock. Uh, done with the lunch. So now it's my second favorite thing to do. Uh, first thing obviously is play and train. But second favorite I would say I'm a big nap taker. So I usually nap for like 30-40 minutes. That way I can recover my body and my mind from the morning and I can do whatever I want to do for the rest of the day after that. So I will see you guys in a bit. Seven hours later. So it's about 8 p.m. here in Louisville. One of my favorite things to do around night time is uh, taking a walk. So that way just uh, loose, uh, loose up my legs and enjoy the little things in life. So here's the bridge. I like uh, to go around the sunset. And it's got a little peak view on the city. So it's right about there, right behind that bridge. Okay guys, so it's dinner time here. For dinner, I just made a gnocchi salad. And in there, I put some tomatoes, avocado, some seasoning, basil. So pretty simple dinner to make. It's my first time actually making it. So if you need the recipe, send me a DM and I will let you know. What's up guys? It's Sebastian Velasquez from Miami FC. I get to spend the whole day with you guys, showing you what it's like to be a professional soccer player, showing you guys what it's like to live in Miami, the ins and outs. I hope you guys enjoy it. I want you guys to check out my view before we go to the coffee shop. And this is what I wake up to every morning. And let's enjoy a day of soccer. There's a house on the hill in the driveway. I see a busted angel. Look at this beautiful thing right here. And we're ready to go. Now we had the training. Ain't your business what I wanna do now. All right, so we just arrived to FIU, where we will be playing at. It's actually a massive stadium. It's called Ricardo Silva Stadium. Look how big this thing is. It's beautiful. It should be exciting to get people out here cheering us on. And then right under here, we're we have our locker room so we'll change here the training facilities are actually a couple steps away I made it right on time actually there he is <laughs> what's up guys what's up guys say what's up brenton this is for the family bro yeah yeah this is all the boys it's our kid man watch your mouth watch your mouth watch your mouth what's up chino watch your mouth what's up is our cat man lance <laughs> What's up, what's up? There he so, is. Yeah, say what's up, man. What's up, guys? What's up, what's up, man? Take working. care. Yep, yeah, my oh, man. 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 Make sure the guys. What's up, baby? Say what's up, baby. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up? Say what's up, boss. Who what you FaceTiming? What's up, man? Yeah, just say what's up, baby. You, you'll find out soon. What's up? What's up? What's say what's up. Say what's up, Lloyd. You like the camera, Lloyd? Just say what's up, what's up man. I got my camera. There you go. Okay. Hey, a lot of good people gonna see you in this. What's up, Breezy? Morning, 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 it's, morning. What you got what's up, boys? How you guys doing? Mario, what's up, baby? Lance, how you doing, baby? How you guys doing? All good? All right, these are all the boys. We'll get ready for training. Living their life in bottles Granddaddy had the golden flask Backstroke every day in Chicago Some people like the way it feels Some people want to kill their sorrow Some people want to fit in with the popular That was my problem I was in a dark room Loud tunes Looking to make a vow soon That I'ma get fucked up Filling up my cup I see the crowd move Changing by the minute And the record on repeat Took a sip then another sip Then somebody said to me why you baby sitting only two or three shots? I'm gonna show you how to turn it up a notch. First you get a swimming pool full of all right, so we just got out here to the city. We got to make a video, a little commercial with the scooters. What's up, baby? 
All good. Jordy? Yeah. That's good, man. So very good to see you again. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Sebastian Rare. The liabilities with this one. <laughs> So listen, after the commercial, we just got done doing. My teammate brought me over to his to his palace, is what you would call this. Look at his view, man. So he has the pool up here. These are the big buildings. And then on top of that, this is his view. This is insane. You can't take views like this for granted. We we're just talking about that. Not a lot of places you can play professional football and live like this. This is dope. What's up, boss? I got a thing with Kenny in a bit. Okay. Yeah. And this is DBC. This place is incredible. A lot of important people have worked out here. I'll show you a couple of guys who've been out here. You see those right there LeBron James, D Wade. This is my trainer right here, Kenny. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? How, you How you doing? All good? Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to work out. All right, so I finally made it home, guys. This is my favorite part of the day, coming home. What's up, mama? What's up, baby? And this is my beautiful girlfriend. Hi. All right, guys, well, thanks for spending the day with me. Really enjoyed everything. Spending time with you guys, letting you guys see what it's like to be a professional soccer players this is what my night looks like this is what my view looks like from my apartment much love not not just for soccer but peace and love for everyone out in the world people going through tough times i hope you guys find peace and love and i'll be praying for you and and that everybody finds success and a happy place to go home to all right guys thanks again bye bye Cannot change in the hills, deep off in the main. Eminem, sweet like candy cane. Drop the top, pop it, let it bang. Yeah, we're doing it here. Morning, morning, boys. Nice. Don't get me naked on here. All right, all right, good. What are you doing there? Let's drop that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can't uh -oh. say it. Uh -oh. So tell me what's going on, Akeem. No, we got photo days, behind the scenes type stuff. Sammy over here. <laughs> Jerseys out here, New Jersey. Dreamville. What do you think of that? Sponsor? I rate this. I like the whites even better, though. This is great. Also, sponsor my Fritos. One, two, three. Oh, me. Oh, my. We've been moving, we've been moving for some time. Jim, 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 Jim. GoPro going on. Yeah, today. Documenting some stuff. How we doing? We're good. How are you, man? Doing well. Bro, you fart, huh? You farted. How you just come here and nobody right. said about anything right. about so it's you? you I smelt no no, I smelt it over from right here, bro. You fart, huh? Yeah, and none. There's no chest. Dude, that's fair. No, why? Why did I go wide like that? Round two. <laughs> 
I wish. Hurts. I'm very, I'm, you guys are making me very unpleasant. Just today, maybe. Very unpleasant. I was very unpleasant after training. Boy. Bro, chill, bro. Why is it so slanted? I'm going on this one. At DJ KT27. <laughs> oh my god, bro. We'll get the credentials. DMs are open anytime. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll turn the sound off, please. <laughs> yeah, don't be stupid. On the way back, moving to your choice. Were we actually trending? We were trending on Twitter, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now as you go, you're gonna come out. Dribble through, okay, however you want. Pause on, come on. Good, stay active, good touch, step, pass, get yourself moving. Smash yeah. me. A little bit of agility to get yourself on the next one. Competition points. Yeah. Four. Four. Oh shit, you you a baller, bro. Uh, it's the balls right there. You know what? Okay, you're not getting any. You're not getting any crossing. Crossing and finishing. I want you to score goals while I cross. Yeah, I want, I want to do the crossing as well. We have to get the balls. Alright, we we'll get the balls. That's what I'm saying. Let's come, come with me. And you said, nah, nah. Wait till after. What? No, no, we're gonna I love rock and roll. Coach is hitting him? He said we're not loose. Good ball. Good ball. Oh, coach. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they don't run. That's a good ball. Okay, let's bring it in. We're done today. Go, guys. Good week. Come on. Go get your smoothies, huh? Go get yourself a smoothie. Yo, these guys, I don't know what these guys are doing, yo. It's a video, yo. I know you can pause that. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing, bro. We out of here, you know? We out. What's happening guys? About to head out to training. I want to say thank you to everybody who's viewed this video. Hopefully it gives you a little bit better insight on what it's like to be a professional footballer in the United States of America. I'd like to say thank you to Spencer for allowing me the platform. If anybody wants to hit me up on social media, hit me up on Twitter, at C Lorendi, L-A-U-R-E-N, D as in David, I-2-3, or on Instagram, just my name, Cody, C-O-D-Y. Lorendi. I look forward to the interaction and I'm wishing everybody out there both health and success both on and off the pitch. Peace. Lay my soul out there by the river. A little different nowadays. Got the mask on, heading into training. There we go. Hey, smile, you're on uh, you're on GoPro. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hadrick Farrell. Faulty equipment, good way to start the day. Did I pass? Okay, I get to go train. What up, Nick? What's up, how are you? Good, you? Oh, the man. It's a morning. <laughs> <laughs> morning, morning. Oh, hey guys. Morning. Morning. Am I on Go video? On. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're not recording. No, we are. Yeah. We are. No, it's recording. Yeah. I don't. Fancy seeing you guys here. Six point glasses. No, it ain't.
Yeah. Brownie, top bins. Suez bullies. You're not cross me on the camera. Oh, I know that ain't it. <laughs> 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 anyway, you're Morons. Down here, playing for Aiden Heath. Aiden Heath it is. Hey, Dunny, give us something. Hey, ah, no, I didn't hear. I didn't hear. Up for debate. Broke the speaker. Yes, Charlie. All right, training's done. It's about 11:30. Picked up lunch. Still can't shower at our facility, so uh, heading home. Got to drive a pair of uh, shorts and a dry T-shirt. Heading home to shower and get on with the rest of the day. All right, all right. Lunch done. I'm gonna go get a haircut. My barber is named Jake, Jake Morrissey. He's a barber at Annex Barbershop here in Oklahoma City. Let's go see what's up with him. One hour later. All right, as you can see, haircut, beard trim, done. As always, keeps me looking fresh. Oh, yeah. How are you, bud? <laughs> All right, babe. Because you don't want to be on camera, you have to talk me through what you've made. This is barbecue chicken stuffed peppers. It's beautiful. And then accompanied by big stretch, two salads. There, right there. All right, dinner's finished. As you can tell, I am chilling. Watching a little bit of the MLS is back tournament. Game is finished, off to bed. This lights off. One, two, and three. It is time for bed. <laughs> Yes, good morning. Top of the morning. I uh, just woke up. I had breakfast. Best part of the day. And I'll bike in. Uh, today for the training schedule, we got uh, yoga in the morning. And then we're going to go train. Today it's supposed to be moderately, moderately light. And then a lot harder tomorrow. Uh, our first game's in... Less than a week now, so you gotta be excited for training. Uh, thankful for what we have. Hey, hit records on my demo. Did y'all boys not get the memo? I do not stay at the Intercontinental. And anything I got is not a rental. I own that mom. Go figure it out, this shit is simple. My stock been going up like a crescendo. 97.6, love to hear that. Come on, my guy. This was the old locker. Uh, we used to have everyone in here, but now obviously with coronavirus, it's changed things up. So they've divided us into three, three different locker rooms. Here we have locker room number two. Get that, bro. What's up? <laughs> Get that. Oh yeah, here we go. Fresh laundry. Beauty. What do we got, Bench? What do we got? What is it, bro? It's a burrito, bro. It's pretty bomb. I'll recommend it 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. What do we got later for lunch? Meatloaf. No way. Don't. Yeah, what? Meatloaf again? Bro, don't say again. Dude, that's awful. Can Dude, I, I think it's Listen, the worst. Food. The yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. best thing of the day, bro. Meatloaf, I'd take it every single day if I could. Uh, you can't really see because of the glare, but here we have Luis, our strength coach. He'll walk us through what's going on. Yeah, so on Sunday we played a game. It was the uh, first time we played in 90 minutes. So the guys are pretty banged up. They had a day off yesterday. They're still kind of banged up. So I wanted to get in here instead of doing a gym session, just kind of have a mobilized stretch, kind of a regen recovery session before we go into our training session and before we do our lift tomorrow. So that's basically all we're doing, just a regen, regen session. Can we do this again? Sure. All right, go. All right, Mr. Langsdorf, one second. Ready? On my go. I'm Mr. Langsdorf. Go! <laughs> get up, baby! <laughs> And go! Yes, Hustler! Go! Woo! Y'all ain't know how, right? Love that on that beat. Let's go! Uh, woo, woo. No masterpiece. Hey. Ten bad bad, then they after me. Bad. One bad bad, look like a masterpiece. Uh. Looking for a dunk like an athlete. Uh. Big drip, what you call it? Big drip. 
All right, here we are. We got Yunus Budadi. What's up? Mask on, I love it. Getting in the river. Round two of ice baths. <laughs> just played a tough 11 v 11 sesh. I'm gonna go just lay in the river for 30 minutes. Oh, uh, here we got some tubing down the river. Yes, Tucker Bone with the backflip right into the river. Bro, get all the way in, bro. What kind of ice bath is that? Oh. Yo, talk to the camera about those Speedos, bro. <laughs> All right, just got out of the river, got back to the place, gonna do a little bit of dry cupping, a little bit of Chinese cupping. I did a lot when I was back at USF in Florida. It just works so well for me. Um, but I'll just kind of show you guys a video of, of what it's like. But me, I, I live by cupping. Oh yeah, this really hurts. You can see how they've just, all the blood is pulled into the cups. I was hitting it earlier with these uh, dual lacrosse balls as well just to get in that hip pocket that's just one of my things like i know i'm always going to be super sore right there so between the cupping and the lacrosse balls foam roll makes a huge difference in how i'm able to perform that day all right gonna go watch the uh madrid game at one of the guys places another good thing about living in the dorms the mantanita just to take a walk and meet up with some of the boys that's good bro Success in football is honestly so much luck, you know? I've met hundreds and hundreds of kids who've been so, so talented and they've had the desire, but they just haven't had their big break. You know, I'm extremely grateful to be where I am because I know that a lot, a lot of what my career has been built out of is just either meeting the right people at the right time, or uh, performing to my capacity that day with the right person watching who wants the right style. I am extremely lucky to be where I am. To be successful in football, you have to have a lot of talent, a lot, a lot of determination, and just be at the right place at the right time. It's just preparation and opportunity, you know? You'll keep getting opportunities and you just have to be able to prepare as much for those moments. And then trust that it'll just work out, you know? If something's meant to be, I really do believe that it'll, it'll happen one way or another. And, and as you'll see throughout these videos of all the, all the time and, and uh, dedication that I put into the little things uh, is, is, is something that I know is the formula for getting to where I am and for getting to where I want to go. It's the little things that count in life, and so that's the same thing for football. I'll keep documenting my career as it goes, but, but that's what it's been so far. All right, here we are at the Manzanita, the uh, player's apartment. We got like probably eight or so guys that are living here, uh, mainly all like first years. Not a bad setup. It's honestly the craziest setup, apartment setup you'll see. So each room you can get into the room without going to the common area. So this is the room. They set it up nicely, bed, lamps. Uh, yeah, just have it so you don't have to worry about much. And then we got three other, that's like back out to the balcony. And we got three other rooms, not too shabby. Yeah, it kind of feels dorm living, but it's cool. The boys will come over, we'll have dinners together, play some cards. Yeah, you just see each other a lot, so it's good, uh, good bonding. All right, here we are, big cooking night, uh, doing a little tacos for Taco Tuesday. Uh, we got a little chicken with some onions. Got the tortillas getting all warming up here. Got a little pico de gallo with a little avocado. Dish, bro. It's <laughs> my dish, bro. <laughs> and some, some rice with a little bit of cilantro. Top it off with some Parmesan cheese. Wow, and some beef, too. <laughs> Say hi. Yeah, 
your bed. No, it is, it is. It is, it is my bed. Good morning, YouTube. Bro, I woke up this morning, I was like, bro, this doesn't feel like, it feels like preseason to get it. Bro, why don't they open the main gate? Bro, you're lucky we got no wind, bro. <laughs> I got my own podcast, bro. Say hi. Shout out to GoPro. You want to bring it to training today? Hola, amigos. ¿Qué tal? Hola, Argentina. Um, we're still here. Mac, we're good? Sorry, Becky. How'd it do it to you? Oh. <sighs> Just wanna go back to our regular field. Oh, we're gonna train through rain, though. Oh, the... Yeah. The fun fate. <laughs> oh, I swear I can't, I can't play like this anymore, I feel like. It feels so weird when I'm like this. Hosla, man from California. What's up, what's up? <laughs> Chill. I know I'm asking you for a lot of, I have a lot of problems with me. I step and it hurts all through here. What is that? Work on the glue. Is the glue? Yeah. You think it's too much tension? No. No way. Even if we both break down tonight And you say you hate me And we go to bed angry I know everything will be alright I'll be here waiting I promise You good bro? Hey, you good bro? Alright, tell the people, say hello, my name is Kairu uh, Hello, my name is Kairu And I'm a winger And I'm a winger And I'm gonna score goals this year and I'm going to start it on. <laughs> You're supposed to be wearing a mask, but like I, oh, yeah. I appreciated him grabbing it for You're you. You're okay with being on camera? Yeah, I'm alright being oh, on camera. Cool, man. Two masks, like two of these ones, and then I'm on one one. Morning, good morning. Victor. Alex, how are you Bien, bien. Now we're heading out to the field. Uh, just going to chill out for a bit. Forward again. 
Six back. Keep talking, yeah? Keep talking. We don't, hey, we don't have to go every time. Just, just go together. Whatever we decide. Up, 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 up. Yeah, we're in, we're in, we're in. Good, good. Up again, up again, up again. In, in, in. Good, Granny, good. Again, again, expand. Hold, 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 hold. Up, we're up. Good, Lundy. Yes, Lundy. Up again, up again. Yeah, Pivo. Yeah, we're in. Yeah. Around the cone, at your own speed, around the cone. Start. Yep. Boy. Turn. Yep. Go, go. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, cool. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Nelly. Pop it. Yes, Nelly. Yes, cool. Don't get too close. We want to see it fast. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Repping Virginia State Cup. Hey, come here, come here, Virginia State Cup champion. Put some respect on my man's name, though. <laughs>
nice little one nil win not the best game but we'll take it on to the next one you probably think that you are better now better now you only say that cause i'm not around not around you know i never meant to let you down let you down would have gave you anything would have gave you everything you know Yeah, sometimes I wanna disappear like I just don't exist. I find a time machine to take me back when I was six. Maybe younger, either way, I guess the point of it would be to tell that little kid that he's gonna take a lot of hits. Yeah, I'll probably grab your hand and tell you life is hard. If you got questions or you need advice, then talk to God, cause he's the only one that listens, even when you think he isn't. Yeah, five, two, and where the blues are. Get out, get out. Why don't you play? Come out. Hey. Ah. Oh.